be nice. Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill Volume 2 starring Uma Thurman hits DVD featuring this deleted scene where Bill and the bride face some enemies in Japan. Can't we do this another time? Just Don't make, mess it up. These are, oh, are they in a certain order? Well, you're, yeah, you're messing up. That makes you crazy, doesn't it? Yep. The whole way. <laughs> Conan O'Brien's 10th anniversary special is out, and his friend Triumph, the insult comic dog, has a DVD of his own. Darth Vader himself is here. All the other nerds tremble in his presence. I don't vote yo do do you vote yo do do Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams celebrated the release of the first season of Laverne and Shirley on DVD in Hollywood after getting their stars on the Walk of Fame. One, two, three, four. Did you ever wonder what this meant? The Shlemiel is someone who trips over nothing, and a Shlemazo comes along and trips over them. Well, one group of stars made it to their hotspot destination with no problems at all, and when they hit the British Virgin Islands, the party was on. Melissa Joan Hart and CSI's Eric Zamanda hit the Caribbean for the ultimate Cinco de Mayo celebration, starting with a beyond first-class ride on one of Prime Jet's private planes. I never thought I'd be celebrating Cinco de Mayo in the Caribbean, but, you know, why not? The coast of Tortola in the British Virgin Islands, Jose Cuervo transformed this tropical location into Cuervo Nation. It's just amazing. The water's so blue, islands everywhere, white sand beaches, boats everywhere. It's just gorgeous. The party got white hot with a little help from the Gastineau girls and Huba Stay. As you see in the background, there's a floating stage that we're, we're going to be playing on. I want to bring them on stage. I want to bring them on stage. I'm going to try to announce Huba Stay. They're a cool group. Michael Clark Duncan got his wish bringing Huba Stank on stage while showing off his hulking physique. I got to take my shirt off too then. Taking my shirt off too. That's how we go do it out here in the British Virgin Islands. Orlando Bloom's War Epic Kingdom of Heaven is out on DVD today. So is Will Ferrell's Kicking and Screaming, where he plays a bumbling soccer coach who kicks and screams. Look for Cinderella Man from the Oscar winning A Beautiful Mind trio of Crow, Howard, and Grazer. Also, take home two Jessicas, Simpson in her Daisy Dukes, and Alba in Fantastic Four. That was David before. David, come on out. What an entrance and what a dramatic transformation. The former 650-pound David Smith showed his new slimmer self on The Today Show. It's a new life for David, who now stars in his own TLC series. And he reveals to us what led to his massive weight gain and who inspired him to take it all off. My life when I weighed over 600 pounds was you know, kind of sad and lonely. I want to be, be human. I didn't really experience anything. I stayed in my house. Up until now, my life has been nothing. I didn't have any friends and um, never had a girlfriend. A lonely life for then 26-year-old David Smith. In 2003, David weighed in at 650 pounds. The weight gain began when he was just six years old after David says he was sexually abused. And when I started gaining my weight was when I was growing up, the first friend I ever made molested me. And then after that, I started not trusting people anymore. The only thing that I really trusted was, you know, the food. The weight continued to pile on. David dropped out of high school and rarely left home, leaving once to visit his mother in the hospital right before she passed away. My mom on her deathbed was telling me, David, I want you to lose this weight. I want you to find a girlfriend. I want you to live that life you've always lived. And from then on then, I, I, I knew it was going to happen. It took David a year to get up the courage to ask for help. He wrote into a local news station that featured fitness segments with personal trainer Chris Powell. I knew I was on death's doorstep. I made the decision knowing, you know, I'm going to die soon if I, I don't do anything. Chris monitored David's diet and helped him develop a workout plan. In the first month alone, David lost 40 pounds. Are you all right with that? Yeah. Is that good? 
Now 32 and working as a personal trainer, David's staggering weight loss from 650 pounds to 240 pounds did leave him with one problem, excess skin. After undergoing three skin removal surgeries, David's gone from this to this. You can see abs. It's right there. As for the title, the 650-pound virgin, well, the 650 is no longer true, but the virgin status, well, it still remains. After years of weight gain and social torment, David's teenage years were spent avoiding girls and not learning how to meet them. Cool. Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> Okay. I'm seeing a dating coach right now, so hopefully, you know, I can pick her brain and figure girls out. You want to do it on the table this time? Absolutely. If you watch just one show this weekend, you got to make it the return of Eva's favorite gardener on Desperate Housewives. Oh my God, John, hi. Wow. What a surprise. After nearly a two-year absence, the hot gardener, Jesse Metcalf, is back. So, are you working here? Hey, nothing wrong with waiting tables. You know, maybe I could bring you some dessert on the house. I'll just go ask the owner. Oh, wait, that's me. All right, this time around, the divorce restaurant chore may not just be hooking up with Gabby. He's also got his gorgeous eyes on someone else. This is our niece, Anna. I can see the family resemblance. She's my niece. Wow. Must have been a windy day when the apple fell from that tree. We have a moment in our nation's history where women are half of the working population in this country. Maria Shriver kicks off her week-long series. It's called The Woman's Nation. Sunday morning at 9 on NBC's Meet the Press. I thought I was going to pick you up. John offered to give me a ride. I appreciated the company. Okay. Sunday at 9 on ABC, John cozies up to Gabby's niece, Anna, on Desperate Housewives. Uh-oh. John's kind of, kind of using Anna a little bit. Kind of using Anna to actually get to Gabby. Yeah. If you're going to watch one show tonight, watch this. On ABC's Modern Family Tonight at 9, Cameron shows up to Luke's birthday party as Fizbo the Clown. And this isn't about you or me. This is about a little boy who deserves some happiness. And he's going to get that from his weird gay clown uncle? Fizbo is not gay. He's asexual. Who likes balloon animals? If you're already a fan, you know things go awry. Would it be a, a Modern Family episode if something crazy didn't happen? I don't think so. Out today, season one of the Golden Globe-nominated sensation, Glee, and the scary box office phenom, Paranormal Activity. Go to AccessHollywood.com now for your chance to win.